All right, people, in order to get this done, here's what's going to happen because I've been putting off doing this video forever. So if I finish this video, I get to have a cookie, but not any cookie. This is my 100 year old Italian grandmother's Pignoli cookie recipe that she actually writes down in her recipe book with incorrect ingredient measurements so that no one else can make her Pignoli cookies. That's my cookie for doing this. All right, so a lot of people have trouble with this. I had trouble with this admittedly, is setting up and getting used to your mirrorless camera's amazing autofocus technology. But if you're coming from DSLR and you're using one point or a multi-point or whatever type of point focus that you're used to using and toggling it around, or maybe just having the center point focus and focus and recompose, this can be a little bit confusing. Now I'm demonstrating this on my R5, uh, but this will work for the uh, R6 has, I'm pretty sure the exact same menu selections. And the R is also fairly similar, if not exactly the same. And also the 1DX3, I'm pretty sure when you're using it in live view, has the exact same thing. So this is gonna cover a lot, but if you're not a Canon user, you might still wanna watch this because the the mindset behind it is almost more important than the uh, than the settings, but let's do the settings first. So this is how I set up my camera. So coming over to my menu in the autofocus section here, I start off by having it in servo. Now, if you are a DSLR shooter like me, I almost never used AI servo, like ever. Even when the bride was coming down the aisle, it didn't matter. I just didn't use it. I didn't find it reliable. I found what I wanted to do, one shot was a lot easier. This has changed the way I shoot. I put it to servo. My autofocus method, I have it set to tracking by default. Now, this is a little bit difficult. Uh, this is the you know eye face head detection tracking. So you want it to be there, but every once in a while, admittedly, you want to focus on a thing, right? Don't worry, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that in a second. All right. I want people to be the top priority, not animals, so that's just me. My eye detection, you wanna make sure you are enabling it. That's the key right here. I like to have my continuous autofocus enabled. However, it's not really necessary. You can easily have that set to disabled and then it's only gonna start focusing when you're basically starting to take a picture versus when it's just at your hip. I liked having it on because at a wedding, I don't even want that split second that it takes for it to go from continuous autofocus or not autofocus, basically being enabled and me picking it up and going. So that's up to you. Do what you want. I'm actually going to try that disabled for my wedding tomorrow. Okay. Now here is a key when it comes to focusing with the system and something that uh, out of the box, I don't know that it comes like this. I know with one of my shooters, I actually, we had to show her this during the wedding the other day and she was like, oh, that's how we do this. So, all right, touch and drag autofocus settings. I have them enabled. Um, the positioning is relative for me and the touch area is right. Now, here's what that is. Here's what's happening here. You tap and your focus point moves around. When, and I would be doing this with my thumb normally, but when you tap, you can see there it is, the focus right there. I tap and drag where I want my focus to be. So you want that set. So touch and drag, I like it on the right side because that's easy for me. Some people like it on the left side, you can do whatever you want, but that's your main way of focusing, at least, okay, my main way of focusing. You have other options, you can use the joystick that's here moving that around. As you can see, I'm making my menu go crazy. Um, do what's comfortable for you. It's gonna make a difference how big your hands are, what your reach is, how you hold your camera, things like that. So, but that's key. The rest of this is default um, as it is. So this is kind of how I have it. I like having the touch shutter disabled so that when I go to like tap to drag and focus, I don't accidentally take a picture. That's a preference. I like having that disabled. The rest of these I'm leaving as default. The playing here though, I like to have Highlight alert enabled so I can help them blowing out the dress. My metering mode. I like to have my metering mode set to spot metering. I get that question all the time. So I figured I would just show you. I like it set to spot metering. 
something that you want to do, if you're coming into the orange menu number three, you're gonna go into custom buttons, go down to your star, that's the one that I like to customize personally, and then go over to this grid. It's the AF autofocus point selection. You're going to set it to that. That way when you are shooting, you can press the star button quickly and on pops your different focus settings. So if you wanted to go ahead and photograph some detail, you could just set it to spot, go there, set it to spot, and then quickly go set it back to eye autofocus. So it's a nice way to be able to switch between the two in case you're photographing an inanimate object or you're photographing a human being or a doll or whatever you're photographing that has a face. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the focusing settings that I have. How I set up my R5, I showed you a few other things in there and how I set it up, but here's the mindset. Here's the mindset behind it. When you go to focus on something, your first thing that you have to do isn't how can I tell the camera what I want to focus on? Your goal in, in shooting mirrorless is to get the camera to understand what it is you're focusing on without having to tell it. Here's what I mean. If you're going to focus on, let me get, I have it all. Here's my doll. Guys, this is a uh, Bumbelina. She is my favorite Shira character. Yes, I do have the whole crystal castle upstairs. Um, more characters and two Shiras. Anyway, this one's my favorite. Here's what I've got. We're gonna take her and we'll photograph her. I'm just gonna put her right there. I know you can stand up, girl. Right off the bat, so you can see how it's tracking her eye. Awesome. Dun, 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 dun. And when you go to photograph, you're using mirrorless, don't think, okay, I've gotta move my autofocus to my subject, no. Press your focus button, let your camera do the work for you, and then if, let's just say there's another character, I don't have any other dolls here, but let's just say there's another person behind them, that's when you use your touch and drag with your thumb, touch and drag settings, all right? Now, again, you can go straight from here, we're photographing that, we got her, we got her, and now I wanna photograph my cookie. All right, so I'm gonna hit my custom button and then move over to single point focus. All right, so now I'm at single point. Now I can just put it where I want to. I'm too close to the cookie. And it's going to focus on that center point. You could keep it there, you know, that's how you used to shoot. So I'm just saying, no, right there. That's where I want the focus, right? That's what you used to do. I'm too close to all of this. All right. So that's your single point. If you want to do it like you used to do it, that's your single point. That's what you do. And then you click and drag and move it around. Here we go, eye tracking. It's not gonna not focus, by the way. If you, if I just photograph this cookie, it's like, okay, that's where you wanna be, or you click and drag and move it around. It'll do it, but it'll always be looking for a face first. You can see it goes right here, right to our eyeball. All right, so that's the thought process. So you do have to change a little bit, at least I did, in thinking I have to always control my focus. No, I'm gonna allow my camera to control the focus, and I'm just gonna make sure it's going where I want to. Give it a little guidance if it's not, and make sure that the autofocus setting is focused for the thing that you're photographing. All right, Bumbelina, I think I did it. Let me know in the comments if that helps, helps you get set up. I hope that helped. <laughs> I get my cookie now, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Ah, uh, I'm so good. Just so good. Worth it.